Captain Rudy and Paka once again. Remember, I have discussed already Annex 1, Subsection 1 until Subsection 4. Today, let's continue and let's finish the whole subsection of Annex 1. Let's start. <laughs> Annex 1, remember they are the positioning they are the technical details of lights and shapes. We're talking about horizontal distance. We talk about vertical distance. Remember in my other lectures and tutorials a while ago, when you discuss subsection 1 to 4, it talks about distances. Okay, so this time, we'll talk about positioning more and distances. Let's start by showing you the animation. Okay, Annex 1. Now we have we have to discuss 5 because 4 Bravo was the last discussion just talking about the two green lines and two red lines. Okay, subsection 5 of Annex 1, section 5 of Annex 1 screen for side lights. The side lights of vessel of 20 meters or more in length shall be fitted with an inboard screen painted in matte black. Okay, there must be a screen. And and meeting the requirements of section 9 of this annex, we'll discuss this more. On vessel of less than 20 meters or more in length, the side light of less than 20 meters in length the side lights, if necessary, to meet the requirements of Section 9 of this Annex, shall be fitted with inboard matte black screens with a, with a combined lantern. Remember, combined lantern? If combined lantern, there's more shape. Using a single vertical filament and a very narrow division between a green and red section. External screen need not to be fitted. Okay. This rule, Subsection 5, talks about side lights and it's talk about an inboard screen to be to be installed and it should be painted black that's the main point of this one let's go our next one subsection six or section six shape shall be black okay we're talking shapes this time shapes the diamond the tra the triangular, the circle, the black balls, okay? Okay. Shall be black and have the following sizes. So if you're talking about shape, it should be black. A ball shall have a diameter of not less than 0.6 meter. Okay, so this ball. I know I'm talking about this ball. Okay. Not less than 0.6 meter diameter. What do you mean diameter? It's end to end. If it is a circle, end to end. A cone, okay, remember a cone, conical, downward, apex, downward, and conic, which is sailing vessel, and the conical, apex, upward, remember this one, shall have a base diameter of not less than 0.6 meter, again, the keyword are 0.6 meter diameter, and a height, what is in 0.6, okay, in centimeter, okay, in, in, in 0.6 meter, Okay, one meter, it's, not, it's less than one meter. Okay? So, it's 0.6 meter and a height of equal to its diameter. So, if its diameter is 0.6, the height is also 0.6 and it is a perfect cone. Okay? So, a cone shall have a diameter of less than 0.6 meter and a height equal to its diameter. A cylinder. Okay, this one, cylinder. Vessel constrained by her draft. Uh, the, the ones displaying the cylinder, meaning that vessel is too much loaded. Uh, shall have a diameter of less than 0.6 meter, okay, because it's a cylinder and a height twice of its diameter, meaning 0.6 and the height is 1.2 meter, so that it would form a diameter, a cylinder. Okay, so. Should, should, should I should I show you this one? Huh? Uh, talking about because 
it, it, it's nice to it, it's always nice to relate the to to relate you know uh, what they are talking about so what you are talking about i cannot relate what you are talking about so uh, it's also nice to relate if if uh, what they are talking about no? so it's you know this is pilotage duty this is 28 okay constrained by head draft okay so this one put this here put this here five i mean i'm talking about six okay here if you can see on my left side the cylinder so talking about the shape remember a vessel constrained by head draft this is what I talk about the, the the diameter is 0.6 and its height is twice so 1.2 and 1.6 let's go with subsection no uh, annex one section six and subsection what subsection four a diamond shape okay shall consist of two cones as defined having a common base okay remember the two cones has a 0.6 diameter and a point and the same height talking about height okay so if you're not familiar just see my drawing so these are two cones so if you're talking about a diamond you just have this okay you just have this one this cone mixed together okay it is a, a cone mixed together two cones with bases apex uh, with, with bases together it would it would make a diamond the vertical distance between shapes shall be at least 1.5 meters okay between shape shapes the vertical distance is 1.5 meters so i I also showed this in, 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 in the drawing. Okay, the vessel of less than 20 meters and I shall be of lesser dimension, but commensurate with the size of vessel may be used and distance apart may be cross correspondingly reduced. Of course, there must be a corresponding uh, ratio and proportion that you made on a vessel, on a small vessel, especially 20 meters or less. We're talking about the distances and the bigger and 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 the shapes okay and and uh, the different dimensions annex one section seven okay the chromacity of navigation lights shall conform to the following standards which lie within the boundaries of the area of the diagram specified for each color the boundaries for the area for each color are given in the corner coordinates which are as follows the white the green the red these are technical two technical descriptions but for the purpose of for the purpose of explanations the the color the colors are defined and the chromacity of navigation lights is defined in annex one section seven okay annex one section eight the minimum, the minimum luminous intensity of light shall be calculated by using this formula. It is a formula for this calculation. It is minimum. Okay. And 3.3 times 10 to the power of 6 times T times D times D to the power of 2 times K to the power of minus D. Okay. So this is the, 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 the explanation. Okay. It's too technical. So, for the purpose of explanation, um, we'll discuss that more on our calculations later on, rather than these animations. A selection of figures derived from the formula is given for the following table. Okay, the range of visibility on the table on this one of light in nautical miles. This is the distance: one mile, two mile, three miles. So, for example, for a three mile. The luminous intensity of light in candelas key equals 0.08 is 12. This is the intensity. 
This is actually a derivation, an example of the formula. Okay? So, this is, this is very, very, this is very, very clear and defined by the, the rules. Let's go with Annex 1, Section 9, Subsection Alpha and 1. In the forward direction, okay, this is now very technical, okay. The side lights as fitted on the vessel shall show the minimum required intensities. The intensity must decrease to reach a practical cutoff between 1 degree and 3 degrees outside the prescribed sector. Okay, let me, uh, let me elaborate this one. Okay, remember this is, for example, a, a muscle light. Uh, a, a side light okay the side light the side light is 112.5 so in, the, in my sample this is a green this is a starboard side light so it means 100 from your dead ahead then from your 22.5 degrees above your beam because 100 112.5 that's the range of visibility of side light green this is my sample the practical cutoff as described the sectors okay it's not actually dead ahead in the actual insulation there is a leeway of three degrees one to three degrees okay in the in the in, in the story of a starboard uh, side light going to the port so the drawing would show there is a practical cutoff. There is a little leeway of the green side layer up to three degrees only, one to three degrees, leaning to the port. This is the drawing all about. Okay. So, and 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 you can see also the practical cutoff of the side light above the beam, which is five degrees. On the forward is 1 to 3 degrees, but on the above the beam is 5 degrees. It's very clear. Next. For strain light and mass head light, and 22.5 degrees above the beam for side lights, the minimum required intensity shall be maintained an arc for horizon of 5 degrees within the limits of the sector in rule 21. Okay, I have already discussed this to you. Okay, so let's say prescribe 112 in the drawing and the practical cutoff is not more than 5 degrees inside and the 5 degrees outside. Okay, so you can see up to 5 degrees may decrease to 50%. Okay, so, so this is a practical cutoff. Uh, let me let me re read the rules from five degrees within prescribed sector the intensity may decrease 50 percent and prescribed limits it shall decrease steadily to reach a practical cutoff of not more than five degrees outside the prescribed sector okay for the purpose of discussion let's say side lights and massive lights massive lights in my drawing this is a massive light this is a two two five the two masses lights as tell you that it will cut on 112.5 degrees starboard and 125 degrees uh, port, which is one which is 22.5 degrees above the beam. Okay, it says okay, what is 22.5 or 112.5 degrees minus 5, it's a 107.5. The intensity of, for example, the starboard side light or the massive light, the white light can reduce to 50% inside 105.5 one, but when it reaches 112.5 then it's going it's going to it has a leeway of another 5 degrees which is 117.5 degrees already for massive light and 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 for massive light and side lights and strain light no so for the strain light which is also here it is defined remember six strain light is 135 degrees so if you divide port and starboard this is 67.5 now the practical cut off five degrees again over the 65.5 
67.5 degrees from above. Okay? But inside the pre spread sector, 67.5 minus 5 is 62.5. You can reduce the intensity of 50%. This is the drawing all about. Okay? The white bold line is the required sector which is 67.5 the inside broken line you can reduce already 50 percent very easy and very clear okay we have finished nine